Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Derby Day today. It's a kind of a derby. It is a derby. It's the Trampsop Derby. It's Blackpool versus Fleetwood. And for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, first time you ever watched it, um, one of our, our, our biggest derby ever. Every football team has a derby, which is like a game against your local rivals. And our biggest derby is Preston, um, also known as the Nobbers, Preston North End. That is our biggest derby. This derby is not a big derby in our minds, but it's still a derby. It's Fleetwood there. They call it the Tram Stop Derby because it's only a few miles down the road to Fleetwood. And Fleetwood are a little bit like your annoying little brother. You kind of don't ever want to lose to him and we don't want to lose to Fleetwood. So it's, it's it's important in that way. I think if you lose to Fleetwood tonight, there could be, it could be really toxic at Bluefield Road tonight. However, there's always a chance it's a, it's a derby game. Charlie Adam is the manager now of Fleetwood and he's a hero at Blackpool and he'll want to come and beat us, no doubt about it. Fleetwood need the points to stay up. Blackpool, pretty much the season's over. It, we're just playing for pride now, but I really hope that they turn up tonight and, you know, the players know that it is a derby and even though it's not the biggest derby in the world, it still means a lot and we want them to win. So I'm going to be getting off to Bloomfield Road in a few hours. I'm going to take you there. I'm going to show you how the night pans out, what the atmosphere is like, try and get some interviews with some people and just kind of get, get you the feeling of how Blackpool fans are feeling at the moment. So... Let me take you down to Bloomfield Road. It's the tram stop Derby fleet, we're just a few miles down the road. They can get on the tram, come straight down to Blackpool. Oh, vice versa. It's not the biggest Derby, but it's still an important game. It's a game we do not want to lose. Charlie Adam, manager of Fleetwood, a big, big star at Blackpool, a hero at Blackpool. He'll want to beat us. He will want to beat us tonight. We want to beat them because, of course, we'd love to send them down. So let's find out what people are thinking before the game. Well, what's your feeling at the moment about everything? Obviously, the game coming up, but just the season in general. Uh, yeah. <laughs> season in general, disappointing. Uh, mixed, I would say. Um, we've had some good results, yeah. some good performances, but I think we've let ourselves down on some of the away games. Yes. Where we've, we've been a little bit negative against poor sides. Yeah. Um, and I think once teams, the better team, have played against us, then I think we've had a better chance. Yeah. Uh, and I think we need to sort that out if we're going to be in the same division next year. It's just that complete Jekyll and Hyde between home and away. That, yeah. That's what's so disappointing. Mm. And, um, you know, you, we win at home, you expect them to go away and at least put on a similar kind of performance, and we just don't do it. No idea why, it's, but it's not good. It's not good. It's a Tuesday. It's midweek. Yeah. We're going to win one. We're going to win one. You heard it here first. But yeah. it all depends on our expire, doesn't it? It does. It he's, does. Go he's going to want to beat us. He is going to want and, to beat us. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know. I honestly don't know. If we win, I'll be highly delighted. I fancy us to win. Yeah, got a fancy us to win. We're playing against a team in the bottom too. You've got a fancy us to win. But uh, whether we will, I know, I know Wilf, Wilf mentioned about the uh, the former player. Yes, he's not playing. I'm not worried. We're never great on a an e a weekday evening. No, we're not. Um, but we are at home. Yeah. And I think that will just tip it. Personally, I think we'll just tip it because I think it might mean more to us tonight to keep a, a slim hopes going against their relegation because they're six points adrift now. Yeah. So if we do them tonight, they're done. Right, so what's your name? Nathan. Nathan, what do you think of the season so far? What's your oh, thoughts on it? It's been, it's been shocking, hasn't it? I, yeah. I don't think Critch is the right man. Right, okay. I think if we're going to move forward, we need someone better than Critch. Uh, right, I mean, he's, 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 he's done okay, hasn't he? I mean, we're, you know, we're near the top, but just going to miss out all the top Yeah, but we've, we've come down. We should be one of the like top three teams competing for the title, let alone for yeah. promotion. And we're six points off with, with four games to go. Yeah. Unless you win all four games, we're going to be nowhere near there. No. Do you think we can win tonight? Oh, easily win tonight. <laughs> OK. Let's go, let's go prediction then. Oh, I'll go 3-1 Blackpool. Going to South 13 for Luck. Australia and anybody else who likes this walk in. Here we go. Let's hope it's.
us a good night. Well, my son Paul yeah. passed away when he was 13 months old. Right. Um, there's a charity event in the Arnfield Club on the 20th of April, which is today he died. And the club have really kindly put an announcement in the programme for tonight versus Fleetwood. So it's, it's awesome. How do people donate to that? Well, there's a, a raffle and an auction in the Armfield Club okay. in aid of Brian House yeah. on the 20th of April. Okay. And Mick Page has been in the Armfield Club tonight as well, selling raffle tickets with me for the South Stand signage. And 50% of that goes to Brian House as well. So people have always been really, really, really good. And it's an awesome charity. You get very little from the government. And it's sadly something that's Okay, well, best of luck with it. Yeah. And uh, hopefully people will donate. Yeah. Thank you, Lee. Half time at 1 0 to Blackpool. If I'm being honest, I think Blackpool have been by far the better side. We deserve to be in the lead, but Fleetwood have had a few breakaways. They could have scored early on. It was almost like a one on one with the keeper, and he messed up. It's going down to the North Stand, but you know, it's it's been dominant. It, it, it's been a dominating performance for Blackpool, but it's the same thing. It's always the same. The final ball so often lets us down we slip or we fall there was a great chance for CJ just before half time and he, he slipped at the wrong moment when Dembele put him through but on the whole you know we played I'm pretty pleased with that I just hope it's not like Saturday where we had a good first half and a second half thanks a lot for watching these videos I'm sorry I haven't been able to do all the away games this season but I've done as many as I can I don't know how many I'm going to be able to get to next season a lot of work, can't get a sponsor for the channel, but if you know anybody who wants to, as a business and they want to promote themselves on this channel, you have to get in touch with me and I'll try and do as many match day videos as I can next season. But like I say, it's not going to be as many, I'm afraid to say. Um, anyway, that's all. Second half, carry on and we win this. Don't want to lose this derby game, so before it's Fleetwood with the annoying younger brother. I just need to win to be Charlie Adam even though he's a legend. Right, on with the second half. I know we have kicked off, let's hope it's a good second half. Let's hope we can win this.
I need to win it. I can't, I can't bear the thought of losing to the Colts. So, yeah, it's just a little bit on edge. I don't like being one nil. It's one of the things I don't like to be. So hopefully we can just another goal and just put this game to bed. Penalty here to go 2 1. Come on, Blackburn. Sorry? Just watch this for you. Who's taking it? It's to go 2 0. Come on. Lavery taking it. Right. Here's good ball. Right, here we go. When I say Blackburn mate, scoring a goal is the hardest thing in the world. I am not joking, I tell you. We can't even score a penalty. I mean the keeper went early as well to his right and he put it to the and he put it right to him. I mean you, you could have put it in an open net. Keeper almost. Unbelievable. Keeper unbelievable what? Okay. <laughs> There's nothing easy watching Blackburn tell you. There's nothing easy tell about it. it. For like substitutions from Critchley, uh, taking Beasley and Lavery off, and has brought Kawasi and Joseph on. What do you think of yourself, our bestie? <laughs> That's it, right? Is that it? I wish I was still on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, 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 yeah, it's just. It's been a struggle. Five minutes to go, normal time for stoppages. Can we defend? Now, this is rather controversial, folks. CJ brought down by the keeper. I think it was on the edge of the box, so it had to be a red card. Uh, the referees, the referees doing some. Is he saying that he had no chance? What's he doing? Is he going to book Grapes? We're having a go at the fourth position. What? He's shot. Yeah, there you go. He's booked Crixley. <laughs> so Neil Crixley's got booked. But just behind the seat. He weren't in front of him. He wouldn't have got in front of him. He's booked Crixley, he's booked the keeper. Surely it should have been a red card, but yeah, we'll have to see it on the replay. And we've got a free kick just on the edge of the box here. It just just wouldn't be safe to from this. No, I hit the wall. Keeper pull the one Great, great, great save from the keeper there. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. I'm checking Dembele up. Dembele up as well. Well, well, late drama, playing without an equaliser. Ruled out for offside. Oh my god. Come on!
one nil. Oh my God! High drama at the end. Oh, incredible! Grimshaw, two great saves at the end. Fleetwood getting the ball in the net. Takes it out for offside. It's a win. It's another win. We've still got a chance in the playoffs. It's not over yet. Not yet. Saturday. Thanks. That's all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Beat the Cods. Wonderful. Well, these are the raffle prizes. It's an odd feeling really when you come out of a game like that and it's a win, it's a derby win. You should be like really feeling fantastic but we just didn't play well in the second half and it's a win. You know, you've just, you've got to be happy it's a win, but there's just something that even though you won, you kind of really don't feel mega happy about it. You should be. I should be over the moon. It's a, it's a derby game. But it's just not been a great season. It's, we're not playing really well. And anyway. I'm rambling on, I'm gonna go and make a video now. And uh, it's a winning video, so, you know, this is a winning video. Thanks a lot for watching, I will see you in the next one.